I'd like to introduce Sue, Sue Greenwald, and Sue has been on the uh, City Council for the last uh, 12 years at the end of this term. Sue, I'd like to start off with the first question is, can you please give us a short description of your qualifications for office? Well, I, you have a very good educational background. UC Berkeley has a, um, a bachelor's, master's in social science, which is a very good foundation for doing this kind of work with the government. With, um, I've, um, uh, my, my best qualification is the 12 years that I've uh, put into office. I think my track record's been pretty good. I've been ahead of the curve on a lot of issues, called a lot of the issues correctly. I think I've done a lot for good planning. Um, when I first got on the council, the downtown was pretty dead during weekends and, uh, I mean, during summer vacations and Christmas vacation and Thanksgiving. Now it's pretty lively every night of the year. So I think that that's, you know, I, um, I helped, I think I played a, an instrumental role in, in that transformation. I've built, of course, on the shoulders of phenomenal things that the councils before us have done. And um, I, uh, I think I've had a sense of, um, I think I'm in, in, in pretty much in tune with what the majority of Davis voters want and feel. And I think that's one of my strengths as a council member. And then I, I work very hard. I study the issues, I analyze them, and I've tended to call some of the, the important um, uh, critical decision points and problems fairly accurately in hindsight. Thank you, Sue. Uh, budget cuts have eroded many of the services that people in this community have come to rely on, leaving an increasing number of people vulnerable. How would you work to ensure that the safety net of social programs is not decimated by the budget cuts? Right. You know, unfortunately that is, for us, that is really uh, mostly the purview of the county. The county dispenses most of the sub funds that are available for social services. We try to play a supportive role to the extent that we can. Um, we have, um, uh, we do have uh, some a sm very very small uh, block grant budgets and things like that that we use as as wisely as we can uh, to fulfill the greatest needs. Uh, but for the most part, we you know we've provided space, support, we have commissions that work, uh, citizens commissions that work on social service issues and on senior issues trying to identify the areas where we can help much, but we don't really have a significant dedicated budget for it, so our role is a bit limited in that regard. Um, you know, personally, I feel that uh, as, a, as a nation we have uh, put put military spending and and, 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 and uh, spending on prisons uh, in far too high a priority and education and social services in far too low priority. And um, my personal, um, as a city council member, there's not a whole lot I can do about that, but it's um, a strong belief of mine that the nation as a whole should put our resources into education social services, uh, sustainability, and uh, economic reinvestment so that we can create jobs rather than prisons and wars and squandering our birthright on prisons and wars. Thank you. What are the three most important issues facing the city now and in the next five years? Well, realistically, our important issues right now are fiscal, unfortunately. Um, I tried over my 12 years to limit the damage uh, that was being done uh, on a state and nationwide level and in every municipality. I saw the problem, I discussed it, I brought it to the forefront, I pointed out that the enhanced early retirement, uh, particularly for public safety and management, were not sustainable. Uh, that we could not afford a, a cafeteria cash out, out of line with that which other even public agencies were were doing. Um, I have um, uh, uh, I did manage to actually prevail on some of these issues. Surprisingly, first off, I think personally I put a lot of pressure that um, that that limited some of the excesses of the era for Davis, and I also made specific. Um, uh, budgetary savings, um, the uh, 
uh, for example, I really took the lead in identifying that the the uh, battalion chief and uh, 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 firefighters, um, uh, uh, the, the the action the council was about to take, which would have resulted in the pay in the increase of pay and rank in about 11 existing firefighters, uh, was not at, at the cost of $400,000 a year, was something we didn't need to do and shouldn't do and. I did finally, after a very long uh, series of, um, uh, of meetings, convince a slender majority to go along with postponing that until the time at which um, uh, it became clear it wasn't doable when the economy crashed. So I basically managed to postpone some permanent or semi-permanent decisions um, long enough that, that the future became apparent. And um, I think what I have been um, uh, most proud of was, was I think take, I can take personal credit for saving 80 to 100 million dollars on our wastewater treatment plant. The, uh, the story behind that is that the, we were going along merrily with our surface water project, which was going to be very expensive, when suddenly staff came to us and or do you think I'm, I'm straying too far from mm -hmm. the question? Okay. When suddenly, st let me know if I am. Uh, mm -hmm. I can go shorter on some of the other uh, questions. When suddenly staff um, uh, um, told us that we were going to have to build an entirely new wastewater treatment plant, uh, essentially that the regulations from the state came down, and I said, wait a minute, guys, you know, how much is this going to cost? So, surface water project going to cost? And at that point, they were saying around 200 million. And I said, how much is the surface uh, wastewater treatment plant going to cost? They said, oh, about $200 million. And later they raised that estimate to $230 or $40 million. I said, guys, you're approaching half a billion dollars in water infrastructure for a town of 65000 Do you realize how out of line that is on a per capita basis? And so I really raised this question. And at that point, it got in the paper, and a lot of citizens who were experts, we have, were really blessed with phenomenal citizen expertise in this town, just amazing. And from very, very many different corners of the uh, water, uh, professional water world, infrastructure world, would contact me, and um, uh, I, and the story, they, they all said, look, that wastewater treatment plant's overbuilt. And um, I said, what should I do about it? And, Everybody said you should bring in George Shabanwis uh, to, to uh, as a consultant, leading national figure who works at the University Emeriti, professor at the university, university Emeritus. And um, it took me maybe eight months to convince the council to do that, because Public Works and was fighting it every step of the way. And I finally managed to convince them. And uh, at the time, the city manager said to me afterwards, he said, "Sue, you know, thank you." The, the contract for the two hundred million dollar um, uh, for the two hundred million dollar plant was on my desk, ready to sign. I think he meant the design contract, which would have irrevocably um, uh, committed us to it. So I just I am going into uh, some detail about this because mm -hmm. it's an example of the kind of big picture proactive work I have done in the past, and that I think in, in why I would run again. And the reason I'm running again is I, I think that there might be, there are likely to be other similar large picture issues where I might have the opportunity to change the course of the city for the better. And so that gives me a great sense of accomplishment. And um, uh, you know, it's, it's a challenge, it's fascinating work. So I think these are some of the biggest issues facing us, the budget, the what we are gonna do about these huge infrastructure costs. There's still, even though, we managed to cut about 25% of it off with uh, by bringing Ch Chibonoglis, Dr. Chibonoglis and Schroeder in. They're still very, very high. I think there's a lot of work to be done there. And, um, uh, you know, we, um, um, I think those are our, our two biggest, because, because if those don't go right, it's gonna be very hard to fulfill all the wonderful dreams that we have for the city.